Almost set here as the light appears. Altamont walks in. Jumping virtually onto a turn from the 1650, and the starter let them go. They're away and they're racing. Brother Paddy left okay. Also jumping away pretty well as Skilled Hunter driving across, though now Thunderclap Newman. And Pike is going to be very, very positive early on, sense of power, and rushes up there to park second in the early stages. Juicing Carrot quickly going around the outside of Taxidermy. A length and a half to Brother Paddy, who dropped back just off the speed shortly after the break, being followed by Hay Magic. One then came Kawhi. Altamont next down on the inside then time to hunt who's back there second last as they actually get going and back with it as well as duck feet thunderclap Newman just in front with a thousand to go taken on by juicing carrots and the big fellow strolls around the outside gets a half to three quarters and now is about to clear them it's juicing carrots by one thunderclap Newman having to ease back a little on its outside sense of power third the favorite then a length and a half to skilled hunter racing on the inside of taxidermy a length away then to Kawa Brother Paddy is next on the inside, closely followed in the middle by Hay Magic and then Duck Feet Altamont. And time to hunt between those is next to last, nearing the home corner. By the 500 they come, juicing carrots about three quarters. Sense of power down on the inside, Thunderclap Newman about to get the cutaway as heads turn for home. Right off the track is Kawaja, then Brother Paddy, who's following Sense of Power into the home straight. And they're being followed down on the inside by Skilled Hunter. Altamont, time to hunter, saved up many lengths as well at the 250 and sense of power quickly joins juicing carrots and thunderclap newman still there time to hunt skilled hunter deeper out taxidermy duck feet runs on at the hundred though juicing carrots is giving plenty fights off sense of power it's juicing carrots under hard riding and juicing carrots juicing carrots has won from sense of power time to hunt i think third from taxidermy and then ultimate skilled hunter and battling away behind those thunderclap newman kawaja duck feet were deeper out brother patty had capitulated beat one to the line and that is Hay Magic choosing carrots Staples squeezing everything out of it in the last of the day wins the sign on group handicap 12 20 3 10 hold sense of power loom to it but juicing carrots certainly finding there he has won it 2100 in the past and uh, gave a gritty account today Staples came out there he wanted to roll forward worked his way to the top and when the challenge came he still had plenty to offer and has got the money here in the last event of the day the son of black tom juicing carrots for craig staples trained by raquel reed and takes out the last over the favorite sense of power time to hunt from well back cut the corner got through on that cutaway which has been a pretty good spot to be in throughout the course of the day to grab third placing as we wait for the officials now to come to hand so the winner raced by Raquel Reed, J.R. Reed by Black Tom from Baroness Gabriella, posting its seventh win in 37 starts. It has been a while between drinks, though. 578 days since Juicing Carrots last saluted. And it always looked as though he was going to be a, a pretty handy horse in the early part of his career. Now a six-year-old, and he bounces back this afternoon to win by three-quarters of a length. The next second and third, the time is 146.18. And it's 3706 the sectional, 5361. 536 and 1 they are after race number 10. So let's head down now to the yard and uh, the connections with uh, Gareth Hall after the victory of Juicing Carrots in the last of the day. Th thanks for that, Darren. Juicing Carrots prepared by Raquel Reed. And today was Juicing Carrots Day. Raquel, congratulations. Were you expecting that? No, <laughs> not at all. <laughs> He's been a grand old campaigner. He's never really far away and he deserved that win. Yeah, it's been a long time coming. He's a very frustrating horse. You think he's going to do well and then he just throws in the towel and says, no, nah, I'm not doing it. But today was his day. It means a lot because you're a little bit emotional after <laughs> this galloper comes back to, to the winner's circle. Tell us the story behind him. Um, well, I bred him and I've always hated him. We've got a love-hate relationship, so, yeah. <laughs> you love him today. A little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Can you get that winning confidence now and go on with it? I hope so. Um, that, that's a plan from here. Um, dropping him back in the distances and getting his confidence up today. Hopefully now he thinks he's a racehorse and we can get some more wins. And it must be satisfying for a horse like uh, this fella that shows plenty, but you have to get up early in the morning and he, he's been so close on so many occasions and these particular moments make it all worthwhile. 
Yeah, he's definitely got the ability there, which we've seen in his work. And, you know, when you get here and then he just doesn't show anything and it's like, dude, what's going on? But, you know, I've got a new track rider now. Um, they've really worked hard with him. And since I've had um, my rider on board, he's just a completely different horse. So what's been the, the difference there? Is it that the, the new track rider just w works him out? Um, I, that plays a big part in it. And I learned a lot last prep. I did too much with them last prep and I was working them way more than what I should have. Um, I, I was doing the riding back then as well so he, I was letting him dictate to me what we were doing whereas now with my rider he actually listens and is working and using his hindquarters and stuff like that so yeah. I'm glad you are winning the battle. Well done Raquel <laughs> and you joy today. Thank you. There we go that's a great story. Brit Raquel Reed there joining us after juicing carrots takes out the last race. Yeah, it is fantastic. 578 days since that horse has tasted success and they've tried him over, you know, the 22, 2300 last preparation and back down in distance today and Craig Staples, congratulations. You rode this horse last preparation over those staying trips. Do you think he's better drop back in distance? No, um, I think he'll be fine. He's a different horse this time and he had a long campaign before and he was a bit negative and uh, confidence is really high on this horse at the moment so we're hoping that he can step up and uh, show that sort of form in the uh, staying races. From Barrier 9 today, was the plan always to go forward? Um, yes, just because of the way the race is, the track's been racing. Um, I, I didn't want to sort of go back on him and try to make it a sprint home. I knew he was super fit and um, I was hoping to slot in, but I just got caught deep, so I decided to uh, let him roll. How confident were you coming to the corner? You're very confident because um, I, I actually got a quite a nice lead, didn't do too much work and I knew his fitness would uh, get him through. Well, it did today. Congratulations. Thanks, Brittany. There we go, Craig Staples catching up with Brittany Taylor after taking out the last. It's been a busy day for the president. He was here before race number one and he had to wait around for race number 10. But